in the morning, my feet hit the ground. When I wake up, I want to sing and shout for every blessing and good thing that you do. I know that it's true. And so I'm going to choose. in the community garden. Everyone's getting together for a ginormous feast. So my mom and I picked a bunch of food from the garden to cook. I can't wait to show you. These are zucchini. I know they have a funny name, but they taste super yummy in my mom's zucchini bread. This smells so good. Oh, and we dug these potatoes out of the dirt. They make the best thing ever. Mashed potatoes, mm, mm good. What else do we have? Oh yeah, a pumpkin. Hmm, what can we do with this? Who, who? It's Ollie. Hello, Kai. Who, who? Cooking up a feast, are you? We sure are. We're going to turn these veggies into the yummiest food ever. Eating good food is great. It's true. I have a story about a different meal for you. Listen to this. Just follow me through. Who? Who? Follow me through. finished your breakfast? It must have been so good. <laughs> oh, hi friends. I'm Carrie and this is my best dog, Stormy Jane. She just finished her delicious breakfast and she is so thankful for it. That reminds me of a story. Do you want to hear it? Okay, well today's true story from the Bible starts in a desert. Have you ever been to a desert? This one is hot and sandy and sweaty. Oh look, it's the Israelites. They are God's people, but do they look happy? No, they look hot and sweaty and hungry. So God told them, I will give you food and when you wake up, you can eat it. That night, while everyone was sleeping, God covered the ground with bread. Have you ever heard of something so amazing? God gave the people all the food they needed. And when the people woke up, they were so excited. God gave us food today. Yay, thank you, God. 
They were so thankful. But then everyone say, uh-oh. Ready? Uh-oh. Look at their faces. Do they look happy to you? No. Do they look thankful? No. The Israelites were worried that God wouldn't give them food again the next day. They went to bed worried. But when they woke up, there was bread on the ground again. Yay! God gave us food today. Thank you, God, they said. Surely they'll stay thankful now, right? Uh-oh. Not again. They worried until they went to bed. But every morning they woke up to more bread. Day after day this happened, over and over, until finally the Israelites stopped worrying. They knew that they could trust God to give them what they needed each day, and they were thankful. But what about us? Can God give us what we need each day? <laughs> yes, so we can be thankful. Thankful when it's pizza day, or rice day, or taco Tuesday, because we can thank God for everything. Oh, hey there, Ollie. Ollie, tell me, who can you thank for everything? I can thank God for everything. Yes, it's true. Now let's hear it from you. Tell me, who can you thank for everything? I can thank God for everything. That's the truth, friends. You better believe it. See you next time. Bye. So there is your story. And it's all true. God gave the Israelites food, and He can give us what we need, too. Thanks, Ollie. Goodbye to you. Who? Who? Wow! God gave the Israelites the food they needed, and He can give us what we need, too. I think I got the story. Did you get it? If you did say, got it. Get it? Good. I'm so thankful for all this food and can't wait to cook it for everyone. I know, pumpkin pie. I'll see you next time. Bye. Thanks to the Lord with my whole heart. Psalm 111.1 I will give thanks to the Lord with my whole heart. Psalm 111.1 one.